let's bring you back into that discussion that we had. Uh, the draws for the 2018 African Nations Championship has just been concluded. So let's allow you to see the groups. That's it um, right there on your screen. No more ports. Now we have the groups. Uh, group A, Morocco, the host. Guinea, Sudan, Mauritius. That's Group A for you. Let's go to Group B quickly. You have Cote d'Ivoire, Zambia, Uganda, and Namibia. All of these teams represent players played in the domestic league. Group C, that's where the Super Eagles are. Libya will be there, and uh, Nigeria will be there, of course. Rwanda will be there, and Equatorial Guinea uh, in that one. In Group D, Angola, Congo, Burkina Faso, and the Dobby Table Lions. I don't know if they're still a Dobby Table these days, but the Dobby Table Lions of Cameroon. So, just in case you missed that, uh, that is it. I think, you know, like Shegu said, and you said as well, I mean, you would expect Nigeria to get out of that group. No, certainly. Uh, looking at the group, uh, Libya appears the only feisty opposition. Equatorial Guinea, like I did mention earlier, they are on the rise as well on the continent. At Chan level, you can't say. So they might just appear to be a dark horse yeah. in that um, group. But Rwanda, they are lightweight. But I expect them uh, to also give you a run for your money. But um, comparing and contrasting, Nigeria, Ceteris Paribus, should make it out of the group. Yeah. All things being equal. All things being equal. All things being equal. <laughs> okay. Fingers crossed. All right. Let's uh, quickly move on. Let's bring to you the fixtures. We hinted earlier in our chat with um, Shegu. But let's see the full fixtures for the English Premier League for this week. And the big draw, always, the big one, always Arsenal against Tottenham. But um, let me, uh, kind of let me run through these fixtures and allow you to tell me what you think is going to happen. Arsenal and Tottenham, Bournemouth will take on Huddersfield Town. Burnley takes on Swansea City. Crystal Palace uh, will take on uh, Everton. Leicester having uh, well, three Nigerians will take on um, Manchester City uh, in our Liverpool. Liverpool take on Southampton, West Brom uh, take on Chelsea, Manchester United take on Newcastle, Watford take on West Ham, Brighton and Old Albion take on Stoke City. All right, let me get your thoughts uh, quickly, but, but let me start on a you know, lighter mode. Uh, when we were talking to Pe the reporters were talking to Pep Guardiola today, in the middle of that chat, they showed him the game against Leicester and what happened the, the glass is a, mm -hmm. uh, was a severe dent <laughs> <laughs> but you see Leicester repeating that, that feat getting one on um, Manchester City with the way they play now well Manchester City appear to be house on fire at the moment um, they've been firing on all cylinders and um, taking teams apart we saw how they got um, victory over Arsenal the mm -hmm. last time out Could have but for more. Leicester City it's a new dawn under a new coach, Claude Puel. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look back how they fed under um, Claude Ranieri, Craig, Craig Shakespeare, Shakespeare, and now Claude Puel, they seem to do well under new coaches. So yeah. that wave might just work in their favor. For some time. In a way, for some time. But over 90 minutes, give it to Manchester City. All right, all right. So, uh, so all right. Uh, the other games, Manchester United, Newcastle, talks about, uh, so someone jokingly told me that um, uh, Jose Mourinho, uh, talking about Zlatan, is passing a message to Romelu Lukaku. I, I don't know if you agree with that. Well, it's about competition. And um, lately, uh, Lukaku has been off the boil. He started like he was on fire, getting about five, six goals in the first time, four games. But he's been struggling. And now you have um, Zlatan coming back. We know Zlatan scored close to 30 goals in 35 appearances mm -hmm. for Manchester United across all competitions. It's good for, for, for the game. Lev whoever is um, the better of the two of them. Lukaku and um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic to get um, the playing time. What matters to Mario is all three points, getting victories as and when you. And what about Paul Pogba if he gets to play? Well, for Paul Pogba, it should be eased into the game gradually. He's just recovering. He's been out since September and, and they've coped in his absence. Yes, they've missed him, especially in their last game against Chelsea. They did miss Paul The Pogba. results haven't been bad without him. It hasn't been bad, I know. But uh, when you play against formidable foes like Chelsea, Manchester City, Real Madrid, you need a big player like Popova. Yes, he plays to the gallery sometimes. But when he means business, he does well and his impact is always felt. But in tomorrow's game, even if he's not involved, I should still expect Manchester United to get all three points against Newcastle. Okay. All right, let's... Um, still talking about Europe now, but we live in England, we'll go to Europe. Let's look at some of the big games um, across um, some of the big leagues. And um, let's quickly give it to you. Any day, any time, irrespective of the position they are on the league, Roma and Lazio, big game, any day. 
Napoli AC Milan, big game any day. Well, Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid, very big game uh, any day. Well, when you go to France, you will only have to talk about PSG. So we take number one and number five, PSG and Nantes. And of course, well, we go to Holland. Then in Holland, we talk about PSV, Eindhoven and Ajax. But tonight, we're talking about uh, PSV, Eindhoven and Zwolle. But let me allow you to uh, talk about, I don't know where you want to start, um, Roma, Lazio, uh, neighbors, rivals, even when they're not playing well. What, the, the Rome derby, Roma has um, stated this season that they mean business. And with the fashion that they started the season with, um, they look like they're going to tear Lazio apart. So I'll stick my neck out for um, Roma. Napoli is similar. If Montella is not careful, okay, might that might be, be the last game as the coach of AC Milan because okay. they've been abysmal. This is and Napoli, they are on top of the Scudetto. Mm. Juventus are just um, trailing. They look like uh, they want to upset the Apple Cat. I believe they have the ability to go the all. And by me, maybe might just have a new winner of the Scudetto. Okay. All right, the big one. Um, a game... Real Madrid must not lose because the, the, the gap between them and Barcelona is wide enough. You lose this game, it might just be like 11, 11 points. 11, yeah. 11 points. Yeah. So you, you feel this is a game Zinedine Zidane and his boys would not want to lose. Then again, Atletico are playing at home and they don't want to lose as well. Well, uh, both have had mixed um, starts to um, the season. They are equal on points. The Real Madrid have a superior goal difference. But Barcelona play earlier in the day against Leganes. And victory against Leganes will extend their lead at the top. Barcelona have only dropped um, two points this season against Atletico Madrid. And Atletico Madrid at their new stadium, the Wanda Metropolitano, against their bitter rivals. They want to at least get the first uh, Madrid derby with all three points. And Real Madrid needs to win so that they can keep up the chase with um, Barcelona. It depends on the side that wants it more. Okay. But the part of me is saying Atletico Madrid just carry the day. Okay. Well, um, and, and, and lastly, before I let you go, uh, in France, it, it looks like anybody just can't stop PSG. It's PSG all the way. Maybe Monaco, but eventually... Maybe eventually, Marseille, maybe Monaco. It's PSG. You can't look beyond them. Marcel, Monaco, like Monaco did um, give them a run for the money and last season. But thus far, they look like um, they have their acts together. And the owner Emery has um, learned from the mistake of last season. Mm -hmm. And they want to extend a healthy lead before the um, fixtures of the UEFA Champions League and other competitions gets in the way. It's just PSG all the way. All right. Kari, I want to thank you for your time uh, on the show. Uh, hopefully, I'll obtain a promise that you'll be around some other time. <laughs> when I have the time. <laughs> okay. But I thank you for uh, making that time to come. It's to a pleasure. All right.